Hey guys, Shadowmaster EX here, and God, it has been a really long time. It's been about, what, a couple months? It's been really difficult on me trying to keep doing the whole video thing, and to be honest, I've been really wrestling if I was gonna come back and do it at all anymore. I mean, it's been really hard on me with the going to college thing, and then the editing, and just in general, it's really time consuming and a lot's gone on in the last couple months too, but that's not really what this video is about. What this video about, what this video is about, gosh, can English, is we had a very special day just recently. Like, this video is going up like right after that special day. But it's the Pokemon's 20th, like, anniversary. It's 20 years of trading, battling, exploring, building bonds, celebrating all of that stuff. And Nintendo is just completely making their move this year with Pokemon Go, Pokemon Sun and Moon. Sun and Moon just came out, like, holy crap. So what I thought I would do as a special little, like, small little treat for, you know, Pokemon celebration is I'd like to tell you guys, like, my personal favorite moment from my history as a Pokemon trainer. So this goes back to pretty much the first game I think I played. I'm pretty sure I started with Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. And I say Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald because I, I was that guy who bought all three and then like didn't even beat two of them. I, I, I'm guilty of that. But anyway, my moment comes from Pokemon Emerald, specifically, and what had happened was, um, it was post-game, and I loved playing the Battle Frontier, like, oh my god, they, they should have brought Battle Frontier back for Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby, but that's another story, that's another point. The main focus here is that the only two facilities I could kinda do were... The Battle Pike, which I'm pretty sure everybody was able to beat the Battle Pike. This is before I was even anywhere near, like, okay at Pokemon. And then, I believe it was the Battle Palace. It was the one with Frontier Brain Spencer, who, understandably enough, had pretty decent Pokemon. It was a really decent concept. If you guys aren't familiar with the concept of the battle, pretty much what you do is you go into the facility and you fight a certain number of battles until you've won enough consecutive wins to battle frontier brain frontier brain being spencer and the catch to these battles is that your pokemon battle on their own and pretty much all you can really control is whether you fight or whether you flee pretty much so the build up here is that i gotten enough consecutive wins to the point where I was able to encounter and battle Spencer and I can't remember everyone on my team because it was a really long time ago like gosh this was probably like a year maybe after the games came out and I don't even remember when that was I want to say that was like 2005 2006 please don't quote me on that I'll probably put like an annotation just to you know correct myself if I'm wrong, because I don't like spreading false information, but either way, Spencer had his Golbat, or not Golbat, Spencer had a Crobat, and I had Walrein in, and we were both down to our last Pokemon at that point. Now, we'd both taken severe damage, and I distinctly remember the fact that most of my Pokemon kept not, like, choosing to not fight back. Like, it'll tell you, Blank was incapable of using its power, which is a very, like, roundabout way of saying that your Pokemon's literally just saying, fuck you, I'm gonna sit here and get punched in the face. And what was the real kicker here was that my Walrein was confused, poisoned, and out of moves. Because I had pretty much a bunch of HM moves and Blizzard on my Walrein, and... I don't know if you guys know, most of you probably do, Blizzard is a very, very dodgy move. Like, holy crap. 
The accuracy is not perfect. It misses a lot. Now, the setup to this big showdown was that I had exhausted all my chances at this point to pull out a win. It was literally do or die in that moment. Walrein either breaks through confusion, chooses to use its power, and smacks that Crobat. And, of course, it's got to hit the blizzard, too, because I'm pretty sure at that point I'd missed at least one or two. And the way it was was that my Walrein was so low on health that literally if, if he hit himself, he was dead. If he missed the blizzard, he was dead. If he missed the blizzard and Crobat didn't attack him, he was still dead because of poison. And against, like, all odds, like, the Walrein broke through confusion went for the blizzard, landed the blizzard, and killed the Crobat. I was just over the moon. Because, like, the best thing about this facility is that it really does test your bonds with your Pokemon. Like, it feels like a real partnership because you're not just, like, they're not just trusting you anymore. They're not trusting you to pick the right move. You're, you gotta trust them to do the right thing. Like, they could literally, it's like, oh, I'm getting beat up with, like, freaking he's going for fissures i'm gonna die better use calm mind no like he's gotta go for an attacking move and i swear like being the little kid i was at the time it must have been probably like i don't know seven eight maybe ten somewhere around that range and having like my wall range just pull through like that that was probably, like, the most epic thing, like, the most epic moment I've ever had in Pokemon. And, you know, to this day, I have a really bad memory, but never forget that moment. So, that's my special Pokemon anniversary story. That's that's my magnificent trainer moment, even though it didn't really have a whole lot to do with me. But it had a lot to do with a Pokemon that I really care about. Like, I, I'm sad. I don't talk a whole lot about Walrein on the channel. I should talk more about Walrein, because I, I really do love Walrein. Walrein's a sweet Pokemon. Hoenn was definitely my favorite gem. That's probably why, like, the only, like, locks that I've completed and the only games I've been playing are all, like, third gen. Oh, gosh. Don't be upset about that. Don't be upset about that. So... I would love to hear from you guys. Please tell me what kind of epic moments have you guys had in your Pokemon training careers? Like what Pokemon have come through for you? What moment out of your whole career of playing this game stands out the most to you? So that's going to be it for me. Um, expect more videos coming for me in the next couple weeks. I'm not entirely sure like what the upload schedule is going to be like. Because I'm about to be on a couple film sets pretty soon. But other than that, I'm going to have a lot more free time in March. And I'm hoping to bring more content to you guys. I'm really hoping to up my game. So, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Doing this video. Got a green screen right here. But you're not going to know it's green. You'll probably know it's green. But, yeah. This is just the beginning of a series of attempts to up the quality of this channel so hope you guys enjoyed listening to me talk hope you guys are happy that i'm coming back i don't know if you miss me or not but i definitely miss being here for you guys i miss playing the games and you can definitely count on me to bring you some more pokemon and maybe some not pokemon related content in the next couple days so thank you guys and i'll see you in the next video peace